Hello! In this video, you will learn how to give advice, express regrets about past actions, and how to criticize something in the past. First of all, giving advice has never been easy for me. First of all, simply because I'm not 100% sure what could be better for a person. The one thing which I can give advice with confidence and being 100% sure is how to learn or how to improve English. So if I were asked what to do, I would say things like that. If you want to improve your English, you should do as many things in English as possible. If you are interested in something, you should read about it in English. If you like watching films, you should do it in English. If you want to improve your speaking skills, you should find someone to talk with in English. Right now, you've just learned how to give advice using should and infinitive. So it comes to should do. Or you also can make it negative. For example, shouldn't. I should eat more vegetables and I should not eat gluten. In other words, should means it's a good idea to do something or it is an obligation to do something. For example, you should wear a mask in public places. One should not go out if they feel sick. I know it's easier said than done and it happens pretty often that we give advice to others and we don't follow it ourselves. Sometimes people say to themselves things like this, I should have recorded this video earlier, I should have learned English at school, I should have done this and I should have done that. We can express a criticism or regret about past actions with this formula should, have, and past participle or the third form of the verb. If you remember this table, you need the third form. So, my regrets. I should have given more time to Spanish before I came to Uruguay. I should have learned how to play the piano when I was a child. Apart from regrets, we also can criticize with should, with the same formula, should, have, and past participle, or the third form of the verb. For example, I had a hangover now. I shouldn't have drunk so much wine yesterday. Again, I cannot fall asleep. I shouldn't have drunk so much coffee. To sum up, you have just learned how to give advice with should. For example, you should watch the video till the end. We also learned how to express a criticism or regret about past actions. For example, you should have called your friend yesterday. I should have learned more Spanish this week and I didn't. I shouldn't have eaten a cake, now my stomach is in pain. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for your English and for you. And I'll see you later. Bye!